How's it going everybody? As we get closer to our holiday season and the winter is setting in, we're gonna go ahead and have fun with it and make this beautiful winter-esque picture. So hope you enjoy, coming right up. Alrighty, let's get this painting started. And we're gonna be working again from our furthest thing back and getting closer and closer to the front. So the furthest thing back, of course, is gonna be our sky. So we're gonna go ahead and make a light powdery blue. I'm gonna take a pretty big brush. This is a flat brush, uh, well, two inch brush right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mix in some blue into white. Okay, and just, I'm gonna go ahead and actually water this down just a little bit too, all right? Because you don't want too much paint on there. But I'm gonna go ahead and back and forth, side to side, just start to make some blue sky. All right, back and forth, side to side. You can see I'm just covering the canvas very quickly. All right, there's no perfection to this. Um, you can start to see that maybe there is a little bit of you know blending technique that you got going in here, making some of the clouds. Now if you want that sky to be brighter, all you do is you add more white into your blue and that will change that color dramatically all right so you can see it just softens it up quite a bit and back and forth side to side taking it down and what it does when you add the white it's like those clouds that we made when we were first kind of starting together you can see just a really pretty coloring it's just a dusting and you don't want too much of that dark blue or anything showing we're going to kind of do a nice lighter sky on this one here you can see some of this blue is getting away down here i'm going to go ahead and just cover that up with some more white and there's our sky okay real simple no perfection just really kind of just changing it up a little bit there. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and mirror that a little bit with some light blue on the bottom. So white and blue. And we're gonna go ahead, just right about down here, we're gonna take some of that and we're gonna make some land. So take a look at that and you can see we've got some good land coming in here. It's coming together and you can see we've got some company, fun stuff. <laughs> Let's take a look. Going back and forth, side to side, making some maybe a little bit of a snowpack right down there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more white into my little canvas here and see this? Side to side, back and forth, and just making a very light. So this is eventually gonna be some snow on the ground. So we almost mirrored what was on the sky. Okay, we move on from that real quick. Go ahead and dunk our brush. Now this one's a little bit different. We're gonna start making some new technique here. It's a new color. All right, so we're gonna be switching things up quite a bit here. We're gonna add a little bit of our, now typically we do like to work for the back. Now we're gonna start working a little bit forward, but we are making kind of a bright statement on this painting here. We are gonna be making a barn here. So that is coming up. We wanna make sure that we have a plain red and I'd say more of a smaller to medium sized brush for your actual red barn. Now, the reason why we're gonna make the barn first is because we wanna actually like shape it out. We wanna know how big this thing's gonna be and kinda know what's going on with it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take some plain red and right above your blue line here, uh, just kind of go in this up and down motion with just plain red. All right, so you can see just plain red is coming right there. Now we're gonna come over with a little bit of a block and then we're actually gonna come up in a diagonal way here. We're gonna come up a little bit and our barn's starting to take a little bit more of a different shape. And it's okay if you come up and you know just kind of mess around with this. You can see some of that barn is a little uneven 
on the bottom there, no big deal. Now what you're gonna do here is we wanna actually kind of draw it out. I want you to play it safe. We're gonna make a top of our barn and we're gonna go right back down and then we're gonna come right down here. Now we're also gonna make a nice little barn door on this guy just to know exactly where that's at. Now this is the easy part. We can actually take a lot of that paint and just really take it with us here. Now the reason why you can see we made it a little bit lighter on the top where that sky is, it might turn a little bit of a purplish tint on you. Don't worry, we're gonna add more paint and we'll cover that right up. Again, this is a different way of doing it, but I want you to at least see where we're going. All right, and we're just got the general shape of our barn and very important, I like doing that up and down technique once you kind of get used to that, just because we're gonna be adding some low lights and possible highlights into this. And I want you to kind of get a good feel um, for that up and down. In fact, we can actually kind of mess around with it now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of black right there and make kind of a darker red over here next to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and maybe bring some of these darker red brush strokes, starting from the bottom and kind of working up. And you can see I've got my little line right there. I know where that side of that barn is. And then I'm gonna make a few more. Now what this step does, is it adds a little bit more to the realism that there is kind of like some age to this barn. It's not that bright red anymore. We're starting to age it a little bit, which gives a little bit more of a realistic effect. All right, and now, check this out. We're gonna go and do the same thing on the front. Okay, so take some of that, do that up and down motion. Still showcase some of that bright red if you'd like, but again, we wanna have some of that cool aged effect to your barn door. Oh yeah coming together. Don't worry, there'll be a roof and all that fun stuff coming up here shortly. We just gonna wanna knock this part out here. It's a fun part too because of the amount of color that you're putting on this painting. But see, all right, now you can see we've got that barn. Now what you can do is you can take a smaller brush and maybe make a little bit more of that, you know, dark red that you just did and we can add, you know, maybe some detailed lines. Like you can see some of that wood, maybe some of those cracks and crevices starting to come out of that wood. Even in like your corners, you can see, maybe it's just aging. You can even put just some plain black and it just really aged right there. Some of that paint just over the years and the weather, you know, just got beat down a little bit. So check that out, plain black a little bit, just a little bit not too much on that brush. All right, you can see, wow, what an effect. And it just gives it a little bit more of depth into this painting. It's just a, it's just a fun step. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more here. Maybe a couple little aging there. And again, you don't have to spend so much time on it, but you know, just get the point across that this is not a new barn. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make some crossbars here. Maybe just to show a little bit of like, you know, ingenuity at a time here with making this barn. Same dark black red color. And I'm just going across. And there you go. So right now it's a little choppy, a little kind of funkadelic, but hey, you know what? It's ideal. We know exactly kind of where we're going with it. And we're gonna go ahead and continue on with um, the rooftop here. We're gonna finish this barn off and shape it out. So go ahead and grab, again, one of your medium to smaller size brushes. And we're gonna go back to that plain blue and white. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a rooftop here. We're gonna just line it out, shape it out. So you can see I'm just coming out a little bit out here. 
And then I'm going to take this down. And you know what? Let's go ahead and connect it right here. So let's go ahead and take some more white on that same brush. And let's just kind of highlight some snow on your barn. Now let's try to stay a little bit away from that red as it dries. You can see I just picked up a little bit as it's drying. No big deal if you pick up a lot. Maybe that adds kind of a fun purpley color. See, I did it again right there. It happens. Okay. And don't worry, we'll add some shadowing and shaping out some of these highlights and lowlights on this roof just to make it look like it's a little bit more legit. Wow, it's really picking it up now, huh? Look at that. <laughs> that happens. That's okay. All you do is just kind of let it dry, let it sit a little bit. And, you know, if you don't, if you want, you can just add some plain white on there. I'll take care of that real quick. Now you got kind of like some really pretty pinkish color right there. You know what? We can use that color to our advantage if we want to. We can actually take some of that and let's dab some of that color right down here just so it looks like I'm in the reflection of the barn. Some of that snow. See? That's what you do is you take some of your mistakes, something that maybe just didn't happen right, and just use it towards, you know, your advantage. I'm going to take some blue and just kind of shape out, maybe add a little bit of shadowing on this just to make it look like we've got kind of a tilt on that rooftop. And you can take some of that blue and match it down in your snowpack. See? It's all about kind of just color matching and going back and forth. You can take some of the leftover color that you had on your brush and just match it up so it it's kind of like goes with the theme. All right. There you go. So you got your rooftop. You've got that. Um, now you can see we've just kind of like detailed it out. We can actually make some cool lines. We're, we're you know really seeing this barn come to life. And we're making these lines because we are going to put some stuff in the backdrop here. In fact, I'm going to do that right now real quick for you. I'm going to take your small, bru small brush. And I'm going to go just go ahead take that brush that I was just using with white and blue. No big deal. I'm using plain black. And I'm going to outline the roof here a little bit just to add a nice bit of depth right there. Look at that. Okay. Um, you can even add, you know, maybe some outlining of your barn door here. Maybe just to give it a little bit of a depth kind of feel. Check this out. I'm going to bring some of that black right underneath that line, giving the illusion that there's even more space. And watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take some of that and just bring it down, adding a little bit of shadowing underneath that roof, just to kind of give it that look that it just has a little bit of a shadow underneath there. Boom. Heck yeah, we got it. Just knocking this out real quick, too. There you go. Yeah, add some more age. Look, at I got still some of that black on my brush. I'm just going to use it. All right. Might as well take some of it off. Beat up that barn a little bit. Okay. There you go. Got that. Real pretty. Now we're rocking and rolling. Well, I want to go ahead and fill this in here too while I'm at it, just because it just is so bright. I'm going to go ahead and just make it gray and take a little bit of black with that same brush, put some white on there, and let's darken this little area up here just to give it the illusion that maybe there is an inside now to your barn. Just gray, black and white. We'll do that. And if you want, you can, you know, maybe highlight the barn a little bit. Just put a little bit more white on your brush and check this out. Now it looks like it's got a little bit even more depth to it. Add some streaks of that brighter gray now. Whoa, 
kind of got away from us there, but don't worry. Now it just goes with the theme. Boom. There's that. We are moving. Now we're going to start making some uh, our own custom color for this barn. So let's get ready for that. All right, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to be using some colors to make our own color. We're going to do some color mixing. So I'm going to use that same palette that I had with red, white, black, and yellow. Now, really, essentially, we want to make our own brown. So all I'm going to do is take some of this red, mix it into some of our yellow, making an orange. All right. So I've got some nice good orange right there going. Everybody's orange is a little bit different, but don't worry. Just kind of put some red into that yellow. And we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of black and mix that into that orange. So red into yellow, that makes your orange. And then you add a little bit of black to that orange and it changes it to brown. And we've made, voila, our own brown. Now the darker you want your brown, you put a little bit more black in there. I'm gonna leave it about that. Once we're done, I'm just mixing it. And you can use your color mixing. You can, I just use brushes a lot on mine, just because it's pretty efficient, pretty fast. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some background, maybe some trees, some sticks to this here. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda take the flat side of my brush and just very gently just start to add some brushes or some sticks and almost these give the illusion that there's some trees. I'm going to keep some separation in there, keep some of that white, you know, uh, glowing. But you, as you can see, I'm just adding a beautiful little touch here. Gives it that really kind of winter um, and kind of encompasses the, um, the barn in the background here. Now, again, normally I typically start from the background and work our way forward, but you know, we'd have to wait for that barn to dry off real quick. And we're just not gonna do that. We're gonna do this real nice and fast for you. Okay. And you can see, boom. And I wanna just still kind of keep the shape and shadowing of you know that barn but what it does is it brightens it up it shows showcases it a little bit better as you can see just a real fun step makes it look like they're in the woods a little bit there let's go ahead and make some spikes over here that's why we kind of kept it nice and white too in the middle so we can showcase a lot of this color that we're making And as you can see, by doing your little streaking streaks, <laughs> it makes some highlights and lowlights just naturally. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a lot of the brown down there, maybe a couple sticks. Just to look like some of those trees are a little bit separated by some depth. And what you can do is now you can kind of work it a little bit so you've got the ability to see that th these have you know, some highlights and lowlights already. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of black on your brush and that can add some, maybe some shadows throughout. Just kind of a nice touch. We're gonna add some more on top of this anyway, but this is just some background noise. So again, imperfections, please, by all means, make some imperfections. Shakalaka. It's lovely. Just lovely. Just lovely. You know what? What we can do is also even make, um, you know, some trees in front if you'd like. Um, we'll come back maybe and make some other fun stuff. But if you want to, we can make 
a nice tree right in front of this guy uh, just to show a little bit of depth and I'm gonna make this tree trunk come out here I know you gotta get a little bit brave because we're going over that barn but the end result is pretty cool because you can actually take this to the top if you want this tree it gives it a little bit more of a perspective like it's a something right in front and add a little bit of black in there just to shadow it a little bit and then I can go back and add highlights if I want which I probably will oh yeah it's a nice tree and we'll make some branches start to come out of that guy I'm gonna add some of that black that really just you know makes that shadowing look so much better sometimes okay and you can bring some branches just to kind of come over your barn a little bit now your branches tend to get a little bit thinner as you go further away from your tree trunk so just remember that you want to keep that realism looking oh, that one got a little bit away from me but that's okay check this out I'm gonna go ahead and make it look like it was done on purpose <laughs> just overcome you can do it all right I'm gonna add some shadowing back here this is when you start kind of like getting in this details you're like okay I gotta like this color maybe I want to add more to it maybe I want to add less to it you start figuring out your painting pretty quickly once you start kind of adding more and more layers and just how good you want to take it wherever you want to go with it all right so check that out boom tastic so we've got some nice um, you know different techniques going on here we want to go ahead and maybe add like the illusion of a fence so uh, let's go ahead and take some white and take some of our brown and let's just go ahead and make a nice little fence going right across here and take a little bit of white on top just to like make it look like a little bit of snow is hidden and look at this kind of have a nice little barrier and we can go ahead and add a little bit of snowfall on top of your little fence there so you can see it just kind of collected up on top of that fence now what you can do is you can take if you want some of this you know you can you know just keep adding more you can add little dirt piles too if you want if you don't want to make it look a little bit more you know, like there's maybe some areas that are drying up you can do that um, you can also take your highlights and just highlight some of your tree and just play around with the color it's just fun you can just kind of mess around with it a little bit uh, we can also add some green in here just to really brighten it up quite a bit we're going to take maybe a smaller size brush and let's take some of green because i know we have that color and what we can do is actually start off with a little bit of that brown on there we can make maybe a couple little trees right here and then I can do one right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this plain green and just come down a little bit from the top and just start adding maybe some dot dashes or dabs and maybe look at that we got some maybe some evergreen in there now just had it we can add some snowfall on that after this too just to make it look a little bit more you know I've got that pretty color but wow look at that that's fun right there we can add here's another one a lot of that forest is you know the green's been disappearing that winter's kicking in and so you can see a lot of it's just dissipating but no big deal you can, what you do is you wipe off that brush that you're using okay and then just go ahead and put some plain white on that and now you can add a little bit of highlight snow on your treetops just right on there 
you know, make sure you want to see some of that green still because it's a cool color but now you can really see where we're going with it we didn't need that full green effect but the highlights kind of take care of it there you go simple dabbing technique blotting dabbing whatever you want to call it And there you go guys, a nice beautiful winter picture and uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We'll see you on the next painting.